Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload Excel files to ChatGPT using the Code Interpreter plugin and then using this Code Interpreter plugin do data analysis with the data in that Excel file. So before I would show you an actual example, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on this Code Interpreter ChatGPT plugin where you can learn more about some of the use cases of this Code Interpreter plugin and I also share some of the best prompts you can use this plugin with. So if you're interested in more details related to this plugin, make sure to check out the article I linked in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see how to use this code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. So as you can see at the time of recording this video, you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription to be able to activate the code interpreter plugin, which is not necessary to be able to upload Excel files to ChatGPT. There are some workarounds with third-party plugins to be able to also upload Excel files. If you are interested in these workarounds, make sure to check out my YouTube channel where I have tutorials on some of this plugin that can also basically upload Excel files to ChatGPT. But now let's see how to use the code interpreter plugin to be able to add Excel files to ChatGPT. So make sure that the plugin is enabled. If you don't know how, check out the tutorial on my YouTube channel. Now once the plugin is enabled, all we have to do is click on this upload file button here, upload our Excel file. So I'm going to use this Bitcoin historical prices Excel file. If we open it in Excel, it looks something like this. So it has a date, a price of Bitcoin, the opening price, the highest price of the day, the lowest price. And this contains more than a thousand rows because it contains uh, three full years of Bitcoin prices. All right, so as you can see, the Excel file has been uploaded and now we can add any prompt here because we cannot just upload files, but of course use the content of that Excel file to do data analytics tasks. So let's say we wanted to do a regression and do some kind of projection for the price of Bitcoin. So this is the prompt I have added. Do a regression on the Bitcoin historical prices and based on that project the price of Bitcoin for the next 10 years. So it's a very simple prompt. Here is the uploaded Excel file. Click on send message and as the code interpreter plugin is enabled, ChatGPT will know that it has to use the interpreter plugin and this is what it has done. So you can also click on the show work down arrow and see what it has done. Read the Excel file with the pandas library. If you are familiar with Python, you might know what this pandas library can do. And let's see what the plugin has done. First, it basically read the content of the Excel file. It recognized what these columns mean. Then to perform a regressional analysis, we need the date and price columns. So as you can read here, it has basically done a linear regression model to the data. And as we have requested, it has created a 10 years projection for the Bitcoin price. And as you can see, the plot is not really good, but this is the predicted price. Interestingly, it predicts that the price will drop because in the last three years, this was the trend we have seen. So as you can see, inputs are very important. So this is not the complete history of the Bitcoin prices, just three years. And linear regression is not the most advanced statistical model. So it's important to keep in mind is that the input is really important, whether you are using ChatGPT or your own data analysis skills. But all in all, this is how to upload an Excel file to the ChatGPT code interpreter plugin and use that plugin to do a basic data analysis on this Excel file data. As I mentioned, there are a ton of applications for this code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. I've made tutorials on all of these applications. So if you're interested in more details, make sure to check out other tutorials on my YouTube channel on the code interpreter plugin. And I also have a ton of ChatGPT plugin tutorials on other plugins that can be used not just for data analysis, but for finance, business, marketing, SEO, scientific research, web development, and more. And more tutorials are coming up. So make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.